Hey guys, welcome back to Minute Watch. And today we're going to talk about this watch accuracy app that I've been using to time my watches. Uh, someone asked me a couple videos ago to make a video about this watch accuracy app. So here I am doing it. So you're welcome. <laughs> anyway, um, before I start talking about it, uh, oh, no, 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 Amazon. Oh, no, no, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? No, no. <laughs> um, I've timed this Steinhardt Ocean Vintage Military for exactly one week uh, via the TAI time or International Atomic Clock to see how well it would do against timing it uh, versus that. And what I did was <clears throat> I set this watch for exactly 12 o'clock and waited for the TAI to reach 12 o'clock. I, pull, I pulled out the, the crown and hacked the seconds. And as soon as it reached 12 o'clock, pushed the crown in so it synchronized this watch with the TAI. Now the International Atomic Clock uh, is a combined output of 400 atomic clocks to create this massively accurate situation. I'll put a link to that clock in the description below. And it also has UTC time. So it's a real good tool for you to use. So synchronized with the TAI, I set up this app right away, and uh, I'll show you. Uh, this is an Android app, but there are very similar situations for iOS. There's also microphone situations for both, but I chose this one because it's kind of fun. It's like a game. So the app is called Watch Accuracy, and this is it right here. So that's the one I use. And uh, when you uh, start it up, you're going to want to create a new profile. Trust me, you're going to want to create a new profile. Don't don't just do it uh, by itself. So create a new profile. I'm going to name this uh, OVM4 because I've failed this video so many times. <laughs> and there's your new profile. So you go back and there's a, like a camera situation here. And then you go ahead and you take a picture. I'm going to move this light here a little bit to, off to the side here. And you go ahead and you get, take a picture of your app. Now there's a crosshair and a line going up to 12 o'clock position. So you're going to center the crosshair as best that you can. But don't worry about it too much because you can move it. And then you click this screen with your thumb. Line it up with the 12 o'clock. Line it up with this second hand. It's so much better. Boom. Okay. So it's not quite centered. But this button right here or this button. You can actually move that crosshair around. So I'm going to move it right to the middle of the second hand. Boom. And then you can move these, these markers around. You can move them all around. So I'm going to move the 12 o'clock as best that I can to the center exactly of the 12 o'clock reading. Then I'm going to move the hour hand and the minute hand and the second hand. You're gonna want you're, you're gonna want to wait for all the hands to be to be nice and apart from each other. You don't want them all bunched up. And then when you get you, when you get them to be exactly, and I, I do uh, insist that you make sure that it's exact. And then you prick you you, you prick <laughs> you click save. You don't prick save. You click save. So there you go. Your new period is started. And um, and then you go back. So what I did was I, I, I wound it up, I wore, I wore it for a day to get it all nice and charged up. And then the next day when I woke up, uh, I started the process. And throughout the day, I went back to the app. And I did it maybe about four or five times a day throughout the day. And um, you're going to get uh, all kinds of different readings. Don't, don't worry about it. You're going to get plus, you're going to get minus. Just keep on keeping on. And um, just to let you know that if you get a reading of like minus five minutes, that means your 12 o'clock marker is just kind of off. Uh, go back and do it again. It takes a little while to get used to this app, but once you get used to it, um, it's a very good tool. Um, so after exactly a week, I went back to the atomic clock and uh, I timed this watch from January 16th to January 23rd. I just finished it tonight and here you go. So this is what I got. Um, the, TI, the TAI says that I am 21 and a half seconds ahead, um, which is, after a week, not bad. Now, the app says that this watch, on average, is plus 3.4 uh, seconds per day. Now, if you times that by 7, 
that equates to 23.8 seconds per day, which is a 2.3 second difference. So the, so the app versus the TAI timing is 2.3 seconds difference. Now, I attribute that to my ineptitude of moving around these little marker things. Uh, and, uh, you know, sometimes you're not going to get them quite accurate. The app is not going to be super accurate. But it is a very good indication of what's going on with your movement. And uh, 2.3 seconds difference is it's not that bad of a difference. Um, so you, you can see that it, it, it works. If you do it right, it'll work pretty darn good. It's also kind of fun, you know. It's like a, like I said, it's like a game. <laughs> um, but more importantly, you're going to be able to see what's going on with your movement. Now, this Steinhardt is is pretty stable with its with its happenings. Check out this uh, SNZ H53 K1 that I did a couple days ago, and you can clearly see you can clearly see that that movement is all over the place even though it has an astounding average accuracy of zero seconds per day you can see that it's all over the place I think that's how Seiko designed this movement it's just all up and down but you know overall it's a pretty damn good movement it kinda pisses me off but but um but uh, that's how I timed this Steinhardt Ocean Vintage Military and, and uh, I just love this watch so so much with this black strap I, I kind of scratched up the bracelet so I was like oh, oh gotta take it off um, but yeah that's how uh, I time my watches I use both situations to kind of get a grasp of what's happening with the movement plus actual timing um, I'm kind of a weirdo like that if you're if you're a, a tinkerer like me then you appreciate this video if not then just please disregard it because I'm not an expert <laughs> I'm just trying my best to uh, have fun with watches, you know, it's kind of a fun thing. So yeah, that's my video. Thanks for watching.